Hey guys, welcome back. So, um, I was supposed to film it from last week, but I didn't. But you will get those videos I was supposed to film last week soon. But today, well, technically today is the second day of February, and so I have so many different ideas planned. But because today is the holiday everyone's not talking about after we left elementary school, it's Groundhog Day, and so I have already sketched out what I'm going to be drawing today. I'm really excited. So the, kind of, the, the idea here is that they're on a heart-shaped Ferris wheel, these two cute little groundhogs, this guy over here literally has some flowers for his boo. There's maybe will be heart-shaped fireworks. I don't really know. I hate doing backgrounds for this guy. So maybe I just won't do the skydive shit. I don't know. Um, I'll do something. <laughs> and so yeah, I have that sketched out. I have some colors kind of ready set. I don't really know. I'll have to like look at my references a little more, decide exactly what we're doing. But that's what we're doing today. And hopefully you guys are excited. As much as I am, I feel like like there was something else I was supposed to be drawing today, and I was like, I don't want to do that today. Like, I just want to draw something really cute and fun. And so, yeah, drawing groundhogs was surprisingly kind of easy because they have like a really simple shape. Like, I did this in two seconds. I thought this would be really hard. Um, look at a reference if you want. You don't have to. Some have like cute little hair poking out. I didn't do that for mine. I might add it later if I wanna. I don't know, but. That's what it's looking like. And so we're gonna get started and start coloring and vibing out. And yeah. Okay guys, so we're gonna get started. And the first thing I'm gonna start doing is just coloring this part, the little seat Ferris wheel that they're in. I think this is the best thing to do because it's kind of something I'm certain about. So I'm gonna do what I always do and outline the shape first. I'm vibing to this one playlist recently I've been listening to. It's called, um, let me see. It's a playlist on YouTube and it's called, I play this that will make you feel like you're the villain. Let me see what it's by. It's actually pretty popular. Um, it's by a channel called Useless Clout. I don't know, I feel like there's another place I looked at after I started listening to this one, so I thought maybe it'd be good too. And I hated it, honestly. It just didn't, it was not, I don't know. Like, I feel like the playlist I'm listening to right now makes you feel like the Joker. Like, it makes me feel like when, um, what was that one Marvel movie that came out? The one with Harley Quinn. You know when that movie came out, everyone was, like, hyping it up and everyone wanted to be Harley Quinn? Yeah, it gives you that vibe. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. And, as far as, like, there's a lot of songs that came out, like, this, not this year, obviously, last year, that kind of got popular, too, that really fit with the vibe. Like, that Bang Bang song, um, I hate how I can't make cards symmetrical, but whatever, um. To be honest, I don't know the name of any of these songs. I just know they sound good. This is looking kind of streaky. You guys can see that. Um, I'm not too worried about it. There's something I also never mentioned when it came to um, this type of stuff, which is using colored pencils, which literally everybody does, because even if you're perfect, sometimes it's going to look streaky, and colored pencils help add shading, um... And literally just make it so much better. I've actually done this before. Um, one of my drawings. I only did it once. But I saw such a massive improvement in the way it looks. And I was just so in awe with it. And I was like, this is amazing. This one's way rounder. And this is pointy. I hate my inability to make nice arts. Um, is that better? Right every time that's better, guys. Um, now for this part, I'm really struggling because... I recently saw Ferris wheels that like have the lights, so it's like light and it's pretty. And I don't know how to do that in like reality though, and so I don't know how to make it look cool like that. Um, I'm thinking if I want to do that, I might use like a uh, like a a thing like I've seen um this one girl who makes these like neon things too, but like with markers. But is that humanly possible? Who really knows? So I think I'm gonna go in with hmm. I think I'm gonna go with like. Light pink and hollyhock. If I can find it easier, I could find that one. And I found that one. Oh, great. And I think I'm gonna leave the this place blank. And I feel like if I need to make it more bright, I think I can just use my gel pen. I think that's the, the plan here. I love this song. Um, it's like I don't even know how to get it. Is it's like Ring Around the Rosie. Um, pocket full of posies. It's so catchy to me. And I don't get why I'm obsessed with it, but I am. 
round the rosy pocket full of posies. I apologize, I can't sing. <laughs> Before you know, I'm gonna taste. <laughs> Okay, I feel like this looks really good, actually. Like, I don't know, like, my statue looks kind of cool right now. I really want to, like, paint my nails, so I feel like, like, when artists don't want their nails painted and you just see their hands, it looks so awkward. So I feel like I really need to paint my nails or do something with my hands, because it wants to be satisfying. And I, I don't know, first time someone gets really distracted, and so I notice. Yeah. Like, there's no artist who doesn't have, like, their nails done. The only reason they get them done is, or, like, do them, is just so it doesn't look awkward. <laughs> okay, that's actually pretty even, I think. Looks pretty nice. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I did a pretty good job doing this. Now we need a darker color. Um, Hollyhock. It's actually not as dark as I anticipated, but I don't think I needed a super dark color. Just slightly darker, so I think it'll be okay. I feel like, I don't know. Well, also part of the song is like on planes, and it's great. I feel like there were so many like iconic songs when we were children that we just some reason, and I feel like music back then was like superior. I feel like it's good now, but I feel like everyone was more and more unique in a sense. But like, you know, if like, if like a breakup music is trending, everyone's posting breakup music, you know? I feel like no one's just doing something like totally out of the bounds. Which is my personal opinion. I realize I messed up here. Oops, it's fine. We will fix it with the... Okay, I feel like it looks super cool. That I could be dripping. But that reminds me though, I do actually need to do this part as well. I want to like, be kind of fast with this, so I don't have to edit as much, but I guess I could just speed the process up. Um, I'm thinking I record, but there's not like a time lapse mode, which is super annoying, and there's no really like way I can make it time lapse, you know? And so it just, it's like this, and I'm just like, and so I have to just edit later on, I just feel like it doesn't look as nice when I do that, so. I guess that looks so that looks so cool to me. I don't like I don't know if y'all think that's cool, but I think it's so cool. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and pick out another red. And like trace it, I guess, on the heart. I could there do something else, but oops, wrong side. That is dark. Concentration at its peak. I feel like being an artist is kind of, I mean, kind of really, really hard for me because I have severely shaky hands. Like, my hands are constantly shaking for no reason. And so I literally can't, like, make straight lines even with a ruler because the hand I'm holding roller with starts moving. So it's like, I can't, I literally just cannot do anything. And I'm just like, I hate it. I don't really know if I'm doing this correctly, but I, don't know, I feel like I'm in love with this, to be honest. Like, look when I get up so far. I feel like this is so out of bounds for me, honestly. I'm not, I don't really draw animals. Not really my thing. Um, so this is very fun. I hope you guys are enjoying this too, especially if it's out of your bounds. Okay, so that's it. Then I'm gonna go with the other red and kinda like blend this two out. And if I'm not satisfied with the red, I will get more, but I think I like it actually. 
I feel like maybe I should make the cart purple actually, because I feel like it would look better with pink. But at the same time, I'm, I'm satisfied, so it's fine. Um, and the question is, do I actually make a sky or no? I say no. I can make cute fireworks, yeah? Okay, so yeah, I think I'm just gonna make the cute fireworks. And for this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give Hollyhock this dark pink color, and I'm just gonna trace it out, but make the lines kind of thick. And then later on, I will just take my white gel pen and I will just put a line in the middle and hope that looks good. So there we go. Let's go to this heart. There we go. And you're like, what about these little lines you had? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and Add that too, but I want to add like different colors for that part actually. So yeah. So first, I'm gonna like choose two sides. There, and then we're gonna be using this color for the match. Oops, wrong side. <laughs> I'm going to use dark red, this one. I think I'm going to take out a purple, like a pinky purple. So I think I'm going to go with this so if I can find it quickly. If I did. <laughs> Great. Hmm. It's not as dark as I'd like. I feel like it kind of blends in with the other color, but it's fine. And then, I think I'm actually going to go with light pink. Light hot pink? Found it, wow. I'm getting really lucky with finding these colors best. I just feel like this is really lighter than all the other colors, so I'd like some nice contrast. So I think that's fun. I like that. Okay, now I think it's going to be fine. We go ahead and actually, I want a purple. And the purple I'm gonna be taking out some moths, actually. So let's see. Found that first one as well. Wow. Okay, I have him those little flowers. Um, let me try to zoom in so y'all can see that. Zoom in. But I'm... so yeah, he has these little flowers. I'm gonna try to like draw them. Whatever one that looks good, you know. There we go. And speaking of that, I do need to get a green. I'm going to go with this green and hope it's cute. Um, what the type of green is this? It's yellowish green. Is that ugly? It's really cute. Let's go. Okay. There we go. Adorable. Now, I have these colors. Um, I'm hoping to use... I have brick beige, which I forget what all these colors look like. I have... Uh, but I'm... I chose these colors and I don't know why. <laughs> uh, let me think. E210. Oh, I see it. Okay, yeah, I like that one. And I also have cream, which looks like. It's why are. Uh, oh, actually, I don't like cream. It's too dark for me. So we're going to put that one to the side. And I also have sand. Yeah, I like sand. It's it's actually darker than cream, but cream is like an orange dark. It's more like a brown dark. And so I'm gonna give this. So um, what I realized from looking at cute little um, groundhogs is they have like this little belly, but actually like it, it goes like here to like they're under their nose to their belly. This better change and look as cute as this other color, or I will lose it all. Ah, I have neutral gray O2. Oh no, sand white is actually really cute. Maybe I should use that one. Well. Kind of too late now. Wait, what if this color looks super bad then? <laughs> we are gonna hope it turns out nice. We're trusting the process. Oh, and I found out that like, oh, this is cute. I like this color. And I found out that like hedgehogs have like pink ears. It's kind of cute to be honest. I'm gonna cat. Then I can go. I feel like I should get out my liner, but I don't really know. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my red pencil and I'm just gonna really darken these lines that I 
No, oh my god, of course. She breaks. It's fine. He will just trust that we can do this correctly. <laughs> fine. Okay, good. It's showing up still. Oh, this is cute. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. So, for the ears, I think I'm actually going to go with this color, like this um, cute little color. Okay, guys. Unfortunately, my camera cut out during the coloring part. Um, I guess I didn't miss that much because I was close to the end anyway. But I did go ahead and finish, and I absolutely love the way it turned out. They are so cute. I added a little, I used my um, color pencil to add a little bit of redness to their cheeks, and I think they just look so cute. Made sure to add a little white to kind of make it stand out a bit, and so I think I'm just gonna sign it real quick. There we go, and we are done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I look forward to doing more with you guys. I think the next video will be a painting video actually, so that will be a lot of fun, and I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye!